Hey, what's going on guys? It's Carl360 and today I'm bringing you my review on Murdered Soul Suspect. So what is Murdered Soul Suspect, I hear you ask? It's basically a detective game where you play as a deceased cop and you go around in the middle of the night scaring old ladies. Of course you don't go around in the middle of the night scaring old ladies because that would just be mean. So the premise of this game is that you are hunting a serial killer called the Bell Killer. And not only are you tracking him down as part of your job as a detective, but you're also doing it on a much more personal level because he also murdered your wife. So at the start of the game, you see the bell killer push you out of a window and then he proceeds to go overkill on you. I mean, he goes ridiculously overkill on you as you're gonna see here. And of course, now that you're a ghost, you then have to try and cross over to the other side because nobody wants to be stuck in purgatory and nobody wants to be stuck with all these bullets in their chest like this guy is. And basically at this point you meet your wife at the light and she tells you you got some unfinished business to attend to and she sends you packing. There's no lovey dovey reunion and there's no smoochy smoochy. Let's just get on with it. So the game gives you various different clues that you have to find in order to answer questions to progress further into the game. For example, why was the killer here? And what am I going to have for dinner tomorrow? And in order to answer these questions, you have to find the relevant clues to answer them. The game tells you how many clues you got to find, and once you have found enough, you can press the Y button to try and answer the question. But this is where I feel the game faults a little, because there is no wrong answer. You can choose the wrong clues all you want, and you're not going to get punished for it. So it, it basically takes the fun out of uh, deep thinking. And of course, it's not just detective work. You also have to do some side quests where you help uh, other people, other ghosts, shall I say, cross over to the other side. But there's also demons that are going to get in your way, as you can see here. And they're very scary, and it also makes the game a little bit, little bit more intense. And especially when you're playing it in the middle of the night with some headphones on, the game can get very very scary and in fact I've got a clip right now of me playing this game okay so he's blocking the way so oh that's another one as well so I just need to be wary of that so if I okay let's jump over here I should should be able to get a sneak up on him take him out before the other guy gets him oh no he's coming back quick 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 let's go back up oh my god what the hell what the hell what the hell no 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 stop this stop this stop this you were dead so of course Overall, I think this game is worth an 8 out of 10, however, due to the whole not being able to fail an investigation scene, it kind of spoils it, it, so I'm going to have to knock it down to a solid 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching my review, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you did enjoy it, make sure you add me as a friend and send me a message if you want to, because I reply to them all. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you next time.